Hello, logical people. This is Vengtesh. The scenario comprises of a wobbly bridge and four people. It is the night time, and the people have only one torch. Without torch, one may risk his life in crossing the bridge. Also, we have a condition: the bridge is not quite strong and can hold only two persons together at once. The four people take different time to cross the bridge. The timings are one minute. Two minutes, seven minutes, and ten minutes. Since the torch is a necessity and the bridge can't hold more than two persons at a time, two persons must travel at a time out of which one must return with the torch, so they don't risk their life crossing in the dark. What is the shortest time that will be required for all of them to cross the bridge? Let me simplify the puzzle. Four people need to cross a bridge at night. Unfortunately, they have only one torch, and the bridge is too dangerous to cross without one. The bridge is only strong enough to support two people at a time. Not all people take the same time to cross the bridge. Times for each person is one minute, two minutes, seven minutes, and ten minutes. For example, if the two people with a speed seven and ten minutes were to cross together, it would take ten minutes, leaving seventeen minutes for one of them to return and get the rest moving. Can you find what is the shortest time needed for all four of them to cross the bridge? This is a very famous interview puzzle asked in several job interviews. Feel free to pause the video and give it a try before checking the solution. If you are visiting this channel for the first time, do consider subscribing. Were you thinking of using the fastest person who takes one minute to travel to and fro till everyone has reached the other end? Yes, that can be done, but it will take ten plus one plus seven plus one plus two equals twenty-one minutes in total. If you pay attention towards finding a way to merge the one taking seven minutes and the one taking ten minutes, we will have to acknowledge the fact that one of them will also have to return back. Which will take much more time than twenty-one minutes. What if we use the person taking two minutes to escort the one taking one minutes across? Let's come to the conclusion. So, in first step, one and two crosses the bridge, and two returns with the torch. Here, time taken is two plus two equals four. In the second step, seven and ten crosses the bridge, and one who was already in the other side come back. Your time taken is ten plus one equals eleven. In the final step, one and two crosses the bridge. Here, time taken is two minutes. In such a manner, the total time taken will be two plus two plus ten plus one plus two equals seventeen minutes. Alternatively, the same time can be achieved like this: one and two go first, then one comes back, then seven and ten goes. And two comes back, then one and two go again. It makes a total of seventeen minutes. This is one of the most popular puzzles asked in several job interviews. That's all for this video. Let me know if you have any questions. I will try to address as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Let's meet in the next video with one more interesting puzzle. Thank you.